another video for you today. Hey, pay attention. This one's important. If a man has a knife or a gun concealed, that's why the title of the video is He Never Gets It Out. To another level. It never comes out. Ever. You can't let that happen. You have to be a master at motion causes motion. Those are the things that's important in reality-based street self-defense. The Ten Commandments of self-defense and the 21 laws of self-defense, guys. It is there. You have to understand that for a reason. You have to understand mindset training first. Mindset training. One, master your emotions. Two, how is he thinking? What is he thinking? Know his motions. See the body mechanics. You need to understand that. You never let that weapon come out. I want to bring Kenny in here. Got to use the equipment for this one. Now, guy, you're approached. You're in a situation. Man has a weapon. You see he has a weapon. And I don't care if the weapon's in his waist or if the weapon is in his hand. I'm going to get to that point. So now, Kenny, I want you to take that knife out, pull it out, and put it in my stomach. Okay, do it again. Look at the body mechanics. This is what he has to do. And then he's gonna come for you. Because when I see him reaching for that knife, I'm not just gonna stand there. As soon as he pulls out, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go like this. Or I'm gonna run in a circle, he's gonna chase me. But watch what he has to do. Do it again, Kenny, please. Go, take it out, do it. So now, understand, motion causes motion. There is a difference if you're this close, which is more or less the three foot rule. Once you see the motion, put the knife down, put the knife down, and he goes, boom, then you move, right here, right from there. Look at the head, has to drop, boom, change that focus. Now that the head is there, what? You gotta use that shit. Watch it again. Once he sees that motion, put that knife down. Boom! That's all it is. He cannot, can he get up? If I am pushing into the groin, I just want you to hold your hand like that, and now I'm gonna push into the groin piece, take it out of standing. Again, his hand is on it. See, you can't have fantasy. I gotta know. His hand is on it. Boom! Now, I want you to move forward when I front push kick. I want you to move forward. Come on this side, please. Can you get it on this angle? Okay, I want you to move forward. See, Kenny, I can see it in his head. He don't even want to move forward with the goddamn gear on. He don't want to do it. And he's not getting hurt. I'm just pushing. Because the, it, the mind says, I cannot go forward after that. His hand is on it. And when his hand, boom, he can't go forward. Now once that hand is there, I'm moving to the side. And guys, I sweep the leg out. I use the shin. What am I going to... Why am I going to start striking? Now, what if we're closer? So now, I can't really throw an effective, I can't really throw an effective leg kick. But for whatever reason, it's closer. Now, if he had knife skills, he would check me and then push the knife out, pull the knife out. But if he's emotional and he don't have knife skills, he's just going to pull the knife out. That's what guys do. They take a half step back, pull out their knife. But watch this. Once again, all I'm going to do is a two-hand push to the head gear. Pull the knife out. Try it again. Pull the knife out. My hands are down. My hands ain't even up. My hands are like this. And this guy goes to reach for that blade. Could you come forward? Could you pull that knife out? He's going to tell you about it later. So now, understand, if you're this close, man, and you see a guy motion, boom, just right there, just move. If you, I'm not going on this 
straight line. Once I did this, I'm shifting. I'm shifting because the weapon is on that side. So I'm coming to this side because if I go to that side, now he can use that hand to punch or push or push. So I can't go to that side. I want to push, go to this side. Push, go to that side. Now, tap again. Now, boom, back of the leg. Or, guys, this is a very powerful strike. Can you come here, please? When he went to reach, we're too close. I said this, I moved to the outside. Come around, please. Come around. This strike, right into his behind. Boom! That is a very powerful strike. That will instantly, instantly get the man to prop up. To prop up. And then, when you, could you stop yourself from propping up? Don't do it. So when he props up, the head is going to pop up. And all you have to do, once again, I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm using the knee to the back of the butt, the cock's bone, and then I'm going to grab his hair, if he has hair, or wrap my hands like this. Just wrap my hands around his face and pull him to the ground and then stomp him out. Another way of handling it, as soon as he reaches for that weapon, I'm just going to hook. As soon as he reaches, I hook. I hook and turn. Now he may still be like this, but once again, I trap that hand, step on the back of that leg, man goes down. I'm breaking this down for you because you got to understand. The weapon never comes out, ever. Grab the weapon. Don't waste your time doing this. Don't waste your time doing that. Because if you hit him, get on the side. If he reaches for the weapon and I start punching him in his chest, he blocks eventually. All he has to do is check me and that weapon could come back out. All he had to do is push you away. And that weapon can come back out if you start engaging in blows. The weapon is still there. And you might think, oh, well, if I did this, I might catch him in the face. You might, but what if he puts his hand up? And he do this, he puts his hand up. Now he's doing this and this, and then all he does is push you, boom, from there. Now you got a problem. So, guys, stick to you know what works. The palms, he never see it coming. Boom! It works. It's simple. If you're a little bit in right by the three-foot rule, bang! It works. And then when he bends, don't turn this side to the side of the weapon. Turn to the outside, the side without the weapon. Bang! Because now, if I could come from behind, I can now grab the weapon. I could take the weapon if I turn him enough and spin his head. I could take the weapon and I could use the weapon. It is important, very important. Kenny, put it like a cross hand. Cross hand. Uh, the blade. Put the blade on the other side. Reach for the knife. Look at what he has to do. It could be a knife, it could be a gun. Look at the body mechanics. Look at what the man has to do. So you can't be so emotionally caught up in it. Yeah, 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 what you gonna do? Yo, what, go ahead. And you don't see that movement. You can't be so caught up in the argument that you can't see that movement. I put you in your face, yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna, and you may say to me, oh, no, you, I'll see that. There's a video. YouTube will not allow me to put it up. They will block us. Of two ladies in a Kentucky Fried Chicken, in a chicken joint. Their two ladies were scrapping, pulling hair, doing all that. The other lady did just that. She grabbed her knife, 
and then she went up into the belly of the other woman. I told you that in another video. So don't tell me that it don't happen because you're so tunnel vision when I want to punch you in the face, I want to hit you, I want to hurt you, that you don't understand how easy it is for the hands to just disappear. And all of a sudden, you're being stabbed. You don't know, where, where did that blade come from? So when you see movements like that, bang! No. Look what I did. He came with the movement, stopped the movement, struck the face, strike the groin, here, hit the shin, man goes down. Guys, I'm just keeping it real simple with you. You don't see me, you don't see me using no fancy elbows and coming in. Not now, not now. My man got a blade he want to put through your heart. He got a blade he want to stick to you in. I ain't got no time for that. I have to vision, breathe, and balance. I got to unbalance as quickly as I possibly can. If we don't have balance, he can't stick me with that knife. And then I got to work in that vision. I got to make sure he don't see me. So if I did this, boom, and now you can't even see where I'm at. Now, look at that. See, I'm like this. I'm here. My hands are here. I'm looking right there because I'm going to come with my inside leg. Bang! And what do you think Kenny's going to feel outside when I do that? He ain't going to have that protective gear on. I'm going to come right into that. Boom! Lower part of the body. You're going to drop right down. You ain't never got your shin kicked and you just say, Okay, I'm good. No, you don't get your shitty kick and start break dancing. All right? You get your shitty kick, you go down. You don't start no wiggling and wobbling and, and doing all of this. You just bang. Man, touch, you come in here, bang, boom, here. You see? You guys don't understand the power of that. You do this, you do that, you put your hands on me, man, bang, I'm coming here. Whack, here, boom. Powerful. You don't believe me? Don't take my word. Get some gear, put a knife or a gun right here, stand here, let that man do what he do, and try to take action. See, this suit has a chest protector and everything else, an arm protection. When you do that, I, we're purposely not wearing it because I don't want you, when he does this, that's not the goal. <laughs> the goal is vision. Long as you can hear, boom, vision. Long as you can do that, as long as you can go, hey, boom, here, what? No. Hey! He reaching for that knife. Hey! Don't reach for that knife. That's all it takes. Hey! A little pause. He reaches. Hey! That's all it takes. So guys, never let him get it out. Kenny, take off the headgear, and I need you to explain to them, because they, you are in it. Guys, you need to understand, this headgear here, it don't get no more real than that, guys. When I was trying to reach for that knife, no matter how fast, I was trying to reach, I was trying to get it out. That shot to my vision, couldn't get it out fast enough, all right? Notice, there was nothing art about that. That was a straight street survival. <laughs> Cutting edge, guys. This is what we do, guys. So make sure, guys, you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Get that, get this, get, you gotta get your gear. When we, when we offer this, you gotta, gotta get it, guys. So you can really train with you and your family. Don't forget, guys, share this video with as many people as you know. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you. To another level. Professor David here. I have a special offer. For all of you guys who's been following us over the past year and a half, I want to say thank you. I put together a special offer. We've been getting a lot of emails and DMs requesting, how can I train with you? I put together something special for everyone who's interested in training with me directly. I now have an offer for everyone who's interested who want to train with me directly. You hear me talking about my book. I always do all the work out of my book. All the videos you've seen comes out of the book. All of the information. I am now teaching and offering this system to you from A to Z. Everything out of the book, I'm teaching it. If you are interested in something like that, 
I'm doing it starting the beginning of 2024. Contact me. To